Scene one, take one, mark. My mother always says, God always opens and closes doors for you. He doesn't let you go through the wrong door, I guess, so to speak. And they know that I had a bad habit of collecting electronic gizmos, and still do to some extent. And they looked at it as, oh great, he's brought home another techno gizmo. They didn't even know it was an instrument. But over the years, you know, they've come to realize it's actually becoming an extension of my hand or my mind. I think I find myself a little bit alienated from the rest of the musical community because most people don't understand that the instrument is not a noise toy. I originally started recording myself to learn the theremin with, so I could see how I was performing, see what techniques I needed to change. But then I realized that this was a good vehicle for getting the theremin out to the public. Hello, I'm Thomas Grillo, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the latest version of the Burns B3 Pro theremin, currently available in cherry and walnut, when people see me playing a theremin for the first time, I don't want them to think that it's an unusual thing that they're not going to see ever again, even though that's usually the case. <laughs> I don't think I look at my life as a book that's already been written, although there are aspects of my life that seem to have controlled the direction I wanted to take in life. There's no telling what my life would have been like, you know, if, if you had a time machine and could go back and change things. And could have grown up to be a pilot, or I could have grown up to be a doctor, but I might not have gone into music and I might never have found the theremin. Music kind of led me on a different path, I guess. And uh, I've just been playing these instruments ever since. <laughs> 